What up, guys? I feel like every video I'm wearing this shirt, like I mass produced it all at the same time, but I think I just wear this shirt way too often. I need to find some more cool shirts. I need to go buy some more Back to the Future shirts, matter of fact. Anyways, today's video, I'm going to be going over one crucial tool that I use all the time as a video creator, and that is... What? Oh, it's upside down. So what's up, guys? And today is going to be really a short video. I just threw this together really quickly because I'm a loser and I don't have anything else better to do. I was thinking to myself, man, I've been using this this SSD like all the time, and I. Just wanted to share it with you guys. It's been a super awesome tool. So one reason why I got this SSD is because like last year my wife bought the, a new MacBook Pro. And I had this grand idea that, okay, I don't want to just buy a, a machine for me just so I can edit videos. That's crazy. So I would we needed to buy it for her for work so she would use it during the day. And then at nighttime when she came home, I could use it for editing. And didn't, it didn't really work out that great, um, to be honest. I, I probably have used it. I used it a lot on the 30-day challenge at the beginning of the year, but after that, I do most of my editing, like on my lunch break at work, my 15-minute breaks at work. At the end of the day, I stay late because my work has a bunch of IMAX. I do it then, and I don't have to come home and waste family time. So I really need my own machine, if I'm, if anything so I can just have it on my work desk and I don't even have to walk over to the iMac lab. Is that a waste of money? But anyway, <laughs> enough ranting. I uh, you have used this uh, Samsung drive still. It's amazing. So what I end up doing is I'll take all my footage and I, I shoot it on a, a nice SanDisk Extreme SD card and I take that out and I'll uh, plug it into a work laptop and I'll transfer it to this SSD. And then from there, I will plug this SSD straight into uh, the lightning port or the USB-C of the iMac Pro or on that slim chance, I'm using my wife's MacBook Pro and uh, I will plug it up and edit straight off this thing. It's awesome. Or I'll, and I'll save all the footage on here, at least until I can back it up. I use Google Drive to back it up and then I'll clear this thing off. It's, it's a never ending process of clearing out the SSD, clearing out this, once we're all done. But my rule of thumb is I will not clear out this or the SSD until I have it on my cloud storage backup. And I use Google Drive, I have unlimited storage, so I just save away like crazy. Thank goodness for the cloud, it's pretty awesome. Don't have to worry about hard drives around the house. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't grab the footage all that often, but when I need it, I can just go into the clouds. Go into the clouds. This SSD is amazing. If you're an editor and you're trying to edit on a Mac, or maybe you're just jumping around from different work computers or whatever you have, I would highly suggest you get one of these SSDs. It's super fast. I can edit straight off this. It's a beast. And it's uh, definitely saved me a lot of times because I can save on this and the SSD of my camera. Uh, SSD of my camera. It's definitely saved me in a, in a few binds because I'm not tied to just getting working off of one computer. So I can I always have it on this. So no matter what device I'm around, I can always edit it on it. Um, I'm not as versatile because I require Mac because I use Final Cut Pro, but. If I'm near a Mac or whatever, I can ooh, plug this bad boy up to it and edit off of it. So everything, my whole video editing life is on this. And it's only a 500 gigabyte. Um, when I bought this, I believe it was on sale for like, I don't know, a hundred bucks. And when I bought this, it was like, that was a good deal. Now I think it's like a hundred bucks just anytime you go buy this thing. So. Uh, I would buy a terabyte now if I could, but 500 gets me by. I mean, I don't have any problems. I usually don't really run enough space on this thing. I don't. I usually edit my video fairly quickly, so I don't let them just build up like crazy. But I think even then, I still 
have a good amount of videos stored on this before I actually ran out of space. So, um, I, and I do shoot the 24-100 on the Sony a7 III, so. I max it out even though you don't really see a big difference between 60 and 100, but go big or go home is what I always say. So that's like a short little video. I'm probably not going to be short because I ramble way too much, but this uh, this drive is amazing. Um, get some really good speeds out of it. It's an essential tool for me as a creator, especially working between multiple devices. So if you're thinking about getting one, just do it. Just do it. Anyway, that's my short video for the day. Hope you guys are having a great week. Like, subscribe, all the fun YouTubey things, and I will see you in the future. So what? song.